Hi YouTube family and friends. Welcome to today's devotional reading. Today is day 25. And the title of the reading is called No Longer Captive. You did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Romans 8.15 When a slave is released from captivity, it is often hard for them to know what to do with their freedom. In fact, many slaves in biblical times would choose to remain servants, bond servants, to their masters, not knowing how to belong elsewhere. We probably don't relate to slavery the way the Israelites did, but we can understand feeling powerless over sin, emotions, or even in relationships. When Jesus defeated death on the cross, we, he introduced a way for us to be free from our former lives of captivity to sin and death. We no longer have to fear that old life, we have, a, we have a new life that is living by the Spirit. We are children of God. When we truly understand our freedom, we can begin to let go of the areas of our lives that hold us back. Again, when we truly understand our freedom, we can begin to let go of the areas of our lives that hold us back. Abba, Father, thank you for freeing me from the power of sin and darkness. Thank you that I now belong to your family and I can live protected in your love. Help me to recognize the areas in my life that keep me from living in, in this freedom. And give me the strength to let them go. Let me read that one more time. Abba, Father, thank you for freeing me from the power of sin and darkness. Thank you that I now belong to your family and I can live protected in your love. Help me to recognize the areas in my life that keep me from living in this freedom and give me the strength to let them go. Amen. So what I'm getting for the reading today is that before that day, Jesus died on the cross for us. We was basically held captive of our sin and our own death. Again, let me say that one more time. Before the day that Jesus died on the cross for us, we were held captive of our own sin and our own death. When he died on that cross for us, it's like he broke the chains that was chain that was holding us down and bonding us to that to the sinful ways of life. He gave us the opportunity to go to God and know that we are sinners, to know that we need to ask for forgiveness so that we can live again by the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit that dwells in us. It just, it, it renewed everything for us to, to begin again, to live again, to be accepted and to be welcomed into God's family, into God's kingdom. So I ask you today, are your sins holding you captive? Are your sins holding you back from being free and to live by the Spirit of God? This will be the third time I say this in, in this in the net in the day's devotionals. When you ask for forgiveness of your sins to God and you start your life anew, and you walk by faith and you walk by the Holy Spirit. And you allow Jesus to guide you. It's not going to change you 100%. All these bad habits you have. All these sinful ways that you do. Take one thing at a time. And ask God to change you. And to release you from that bondage. God has given you a new day. And a new beginning. Each day, take away something that holds you back from being free from all that negativity, all those wrongdoings, all those sin, sinful ways. 
Release it so you can be free and happy and joyous and walk by faith with the Holy Spirit, with God. This passage is basically telling you that God died for the... Jesus died on the cross that day. So we won't be slaves to our sin. So we won't be slaves to the pending death that's to come. But so that we may be welcome again into the kingdom of heaven. And we may be welcome into the Lord's embrace. That we may be with our Father. So if something's holding you back today, go to Jesus, go to God. Pray to him and ask for forgiveness. Ask him for renewness of your life and of your heart. Ask him to show you the way that he wants you to walk. Ask him to guide you and protect you and shield you. Ask him Ask him to teach you and ask him to help you get away from those sins and get away from those things that bring you down and hold you down. So I'm going to read this last passage again and it says, Abba, Father, thank you for freeing me from the power of sin and darkness. Thank you for freeing me from the power of sin and darkness. Thank you that I now belong to your family. We belong to your family, Lord. And I can live protected in your love. You hear that? You can live protected in God's love. Help me to recognize the areas in my life that keep me from living in this freedom. Not in everyone else's life, but the areas of my life. Help me to recognize the areas of my life that keep me from living in this freedom and give me the strength to let it go and let them go. But you, because you can't, you can't get any better and you can't do better if you don't let go of the ways that you have that's holding you back. The ways that you, the things that you do that stop you from being free and happy and joyous and at peace knowing that God got you, that he got your back, that he got your front, he got he, he circled all around, of, around you, guiding you, leading you, and protecting you. You have to let go of those, those sin and those dark ways so that you can be free. Free, <laughs> living in freedom. So I pray that you guys take something from today's devotional, no longer captive. Because when you have King Jesus, you are not captive. You're not in bondage of that sin in those dark ways. I pray that you like. I pray that you comment. And I pray you subscribe and join our family. And I hope you all have a blessed and beautiful day. And remember... Don't allow your sin to hold you captive. Give it to God.